1 Corinthians 3, verse 10 to 15. According to the grace of God which was given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building on it. But each man must be careful how he builds on it. For no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each man's work will become evident. For the day will show it because it is to be refilled with fire. And the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. If any man's work which he has built on it remains, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss. But he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Now, verse 11 says that our good works can be considered for eternal rewards. Did you notice that? Only if, only if we are saved by the grace through faith in Christ. It makes sense because unbelievers do not go to heaven anyway, much less of rewards, right? So Paul here compares a construction project to our life of serving Christ. And um, the construction materials represent various kind of works we do in serving Christ. Some works are truly valuable to Christ, like gold and silver and precious stone, Paul says, because they were ordained by God and they were led by the Holy Spirit. They are comparable to the precious metals surviving the fire that test their quality. Paul says that. Now, what about the other works? The other works have no value because they are done in the flesh or the work for our own gain. They are comparable to hay and wood which, would, which could not withstand the testing of the fire. Paul says here in this case, the person suffer loss because they lost an opportunity to be rewarded. But that person's salvation remains safe because he is already a believer. Once safe, you are safe. Yeah? So Jesus Christ will be evaluating believers' works for the purpose of assigning individual reward. And this testing will be performed on the judgment seat of Christ in Revelation. You can see that. You can watch my other video on 2 Corinthians 5.10. We are, we are judged for our eternal rewards. I will ex, uh, it, it explains them more on the judgment seat of Christ. So the word bad works in 2 Corinthians verse 10 here is full on in its original Greek translations. And um, it means worthless of, of no account. So Paul is not speaking about sins, but worthless deed done in the flesh and intended for our own gain. So what lesson can we apply here? First, understand that there will be eternal rewards when we die available for us and we ought to work for it. And we work for it here while we are on earth. Second, when we serve the Lord, the work must be done selflessly and not for earthly gains. Um, earthly gain meaning popularity, praises from men, money, power, and those kind of things. So what are these eternal rewards that will be assigned to us? Well, this, this video is far too long, so let me know if you want to know more about this, and I will make another video.